If you like to smoke, we must insist that you use the lounge in the West Wing. But whatever you do, don't go traipsing around downstairs with a lit cigarette, or Mr. DeVries will have hysterics. Your suite is upstairs in the west wing. I'll have the maid make up your room. Should you require a meal, the dining room is located in the east wing. However, I wouldn't recommend a tour of the kitchen. The chefs there are quite temperamental. This is as far as we could drag it, sir. It wouldn't fit through any of the upstairs doors. But Byron said it would fit. It's, but it's only three feet wide. I believe he said three cubits wide, sir. A cubit is roughly the length of your forearm. Fine. Then we'll open it right here. Very well. I'll summon Miss Conway. Oh, that won't be necessary, Robert. I, uh, I want to surprise her. She specifically wanted to be present when the crate was open. I thought I made myself clear. You are not the master of this house. Yet! But I'll change. Miss Conway, I'm quite concerned about you. Why is that, Robert? Since your parents passed on, you've been taking up with a dark crowd. Oh, the parties and the merriment are only natural for a young lady. But your fascination with time and ancient things are quite irregular. And now that you are... Poor dear Robert. You miss our old life, don't you? It's not just that. But Tess, dear child, why do you associate with this De Vries character? He's not of your ilk. Duncan is my friend, Robert. He gets me things. It's exactly those things that worry me. He's building an arsenal in the storeroom. Please, Robert. I'm tired. And there are gangsters in the garden. Well, hand them some pruning shears. The hedge is atrocious. The most remarkable thing about it is that it doesn't look like a clock at all. It's almost feminine in form. It's wide middle echoing a woman's hips and the two handles reaching up suggesting arms reaching to heaven. And the figurehead is clearly thought. This has to be it. I'm certain of it. 
<laughs> Damn things, they're impossible to kill. That was an exceptionally large bladder orientalis, very thick carapace. Mm. I try roasting it on the end of a cigarette. my whole life in the shadow of Tess, and now she wants to live forever. Well, I am not going to spend eternity with her. I'm but a humble servant, Miss Tewksbury, but I have served you and Miss Conway since you were children. Yes, yes, Robert, go on. It is possible that your concern for Mr. DeVries may not be deserved. Why is that? I don't think Mr. DeVries has Miss Conway's best interest in mind. In fact, I think he's only interested in her money. <laughs> Robert. Everyone is after Tessa's money. <laughs> That's why she keeps us here.